Good morning. I want to pray with you as you head over to work or to school this morning. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 30, 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Do you know that God already knows everything that we need? He knows that we need protection, that we need provision, that we need our bills to be paid, we need to have a job, our children need to be thriving, that we need um, peace of mind. Think about all the things that we are always worrying about, always anxious about. Do you know that God already knows that we are we will need all these things? But what he's asking for us to do is to seek him first. Put him first. What does that mean to put him first? Have you given your life to Jesus? Are you part of his family? Can you call him your father? Can he call you your his child, his daughter, his son? God wants to bless us. God wants to expand us. God wants to make sure that we have everything that we need as his children. But he is asking us, seek me first because I know what you do not know. I have a plan for you. I have a purpose for you. And in order for you to have fulfillment and life, you have to give me the rail. Let me take over the wheel. Let me drive. Let me be in the driver's seat. Let me take over your life. Let me take over your affairs because I know what is best for you. So I pray for you this morning as you head out that you will put God first, that you will not be anxious about anything. You will not think about what is going on on your job. You will not think about what is going on in the economy. You will not think about what is going on with your children. You will end everything over to God because you can't fix it anyway. Just let him fix it. Let him have this way. So today I am praying, I pray for you, that the Spirit of the Lord will lead and guide you today. I pray against every spirit of anxiety today, every spirit of frustration. I come against them by the power that is in the name of Jesus. I pray for the peace of God will overtake you. You will be submerged into the peace and the joy of the Lord today in the name of Jesus. That today you will feel the presence of God at your house, in your at your job, everywhere you go today. You you will feel the presence of God that the Holy Spirit will help you to put everything into God's hand today without even thinking about it. That the Holy Spirit will enable you, will strengthen you not to be anxious today, but to hand, hand over everything into God in prayer. I just thank God for you. I thank God for what God is doing in your life. I thank God for what God is doing in your family. I thank God for this year is your year of elevation. This year is the year that you are going to show forth the glory of God and the purpose of God will come to fruition in your life, in your family, in the name of Jesus. You are covered by the blood of Jesus today. Oh, the Lord God is blessing you as you come in and as you go out today. In the name of Jesus, whatever you lay your hands on today shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. I just thank God for your life. I thank God for you today. Remember, today, this very day, is the day that the Lord has made. Be glad and rejoice in it. I'll see you in the morning and have a wonderful and God-filled day. Amen.